Wow, um, I'm a bit late to the uh, show, I guess, but I've just found out that the old Queenie, the old Liz, too, is um, pushing up with daisies. Um, you know, I, I've never really been a royalist, but it's marked several moments in my life. Um, I remember the Silver Jubilee in 1977, when I was a little kid. And Platinum Jubilee, which was this year. Um, and it's always like, you, you know, she was an old lady and she was like, but she was so strong and like, you know, the Queen Mother, she just seemed to go on for ages. And you think, oh yeah, she's going to go for, on for ages. And then when I read she's gone to Balmoral and, you know, all the family gathering around her, I thought, oh wait, this sounds a bit serious. And, and it was. Um, wow. Wow. Like I said, I'm not a royalist, but it's, it, I am shook. Um, I, I mean, maybe it was Liz Trust getting to be Prime Minister that f f finished her off, because I, I don't like that woman. I don't. I really, really don't. A wolf in sheep's clothing, I don't know. I don't, Thatcher Part 2, I don't know. But, but... I'd rather have I'd rather have had Liz taken over our country than the other Liz. You know, I'd rather have Windsor taken over than Truss. She seemed like a nice old bird, and I wish I'd met her. You know, I mean, it can't be it can't be easy putting that being in that position. But ah, uh, R.I.P. Liz Tetu. Um. I can't believe we've got a king, <laughs> a King Charles. I can't believe it. Um, I've never had a king in my lifetime. I know there's probably people who have had kings. I hope they can remember George. Um, but seeing seeing Elizabeth's current coronated, whatever it is, I can't. I don't know what the actual word is, but it is part of our history. It's like it, it's like the birth of television. Um, and it, it's, you know, I think it's probably a, a, a prescient reminder that life moves on. And so here we are, you know, we've got a new prime minister, we've got a new king. God fucking help us. <sighs> wow. Wow, what a week. And and I think the worst of it all is that we didn't vote for any of this. Or, or um, you know, if you don't like the royal family, you could say, I never voted for the royal family. But we never voted for Liz Truss either. Just a, a bunch of stuffy conservatives voted for her and all, all of that, whatever that entails. Um, so, you know, you can't blame the royals for everything. Um, because even our so-called elective betters are just as corrupt and just as, you know, manufactured and maleficent. Um, so, yeah, bye Liz, and, um, you know, I shall, uh, I shall remember you well. There you go. Bye Queenie. Um, good luck Charles. Um, I think I'd rather have seen William take over. Maybe not Harry. I think he's been a bit influenced by certain things. You know, this is like a sort of Mrs. Simpson things. Miss, sorry, Wallace. I can't remember. No. Edward. Yeah, Edward and Mrs. Simpson. I think there's an Edward and Mrs. Simpson going a uh, um a thing going on there. So um, but yeah, William seems alright. Um, a bit bold. But, no, I like Prince Charles. Um, he's a Scorpio like me. Uh, so that's cool. Um, yeah. Wow. Fuck me. I don't really have anything else to say, really. I'm just in shock. I mean, it's like two bombshells happening, like, within a few days of each other. It's like... I can't be the only person in, in, in England who's feeling like this. It's an utter shock, honestly. It's like I don't. I'm not going to cry because, you know, emotionally I'm not tied to her. But 
bloody hell, I mean, like, I wanted to get rid of Boris Johnson as much as the next guy, but I, I didn't want, I didn't, I, you know, it's a better the devil you know situation, but with, with the Queen, it's different because I don't think that she was evil or corrupt or anything else. She was just someone who had to do her duty and, and now um, Prince Charles has got to step up and I'm not sure he's really, um, I like his, I like, I like his um, views and the ecology and everything else, but whether he's just a bit too past it to step up, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I, you know, at this, at this, at this juncture, they're probably just no more than just figureheads anyway. I don't think they've even got any um, particular power, but blimey. <sighs> I feel really old now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I'm signing out now because I just, I, I just don't know what else to say. I really don't. Um, God bless you, everybody in the UK. Um, don't, don't get brought down by people who are anti-royalists and um, trolls. You know, if you wanna, if you wanna be sad about this, be sad. You know, I'll, I'm with you. Um, and if you want to be sad about, like, Liz Truss, who is basically Margaret Thatcher Mark II getting into power, I'm, I'm there with you as well. Uh, yeah, it's a shocking week. It's it's really shocking week. OK, well, I'll um, hopefully come up with some uh, interesting things to talk about in the next few days or so. But I just wanted to say thank you for watching and... Um,